To open Windows Movie Maker, go to Start All Programs. Click on Windows Movie Maker. The program opens. To import video, go to File and click Import into Collections. Find the folder that holds all of your video clips. Select the clips you want by clicking on them. Click Import. The files will now be imported into your Movie Maker session. The clips will appear in Movie Maker under Collections. To save, go to File, Save Project As. Select where you'd like to save your file and name it. When everything is set, click Save. Under the Collections portion of the screen, you'll see a button called Show Timeline. If you click this, it will change your sequence from a storyboard format to a timeline sequence. Pick your preference. The timeline view is closer to professional editing. To view a clip, select the folder in the Collections area. Select the clip in the area between the viewer and the Collections area. Hit Play. To put clips on the timeline, select the folder clip in the Collections area. Select the clip from the middle of the top three areas and drag it down onto the timeline. To add a second clip to the timeline, repeat the first two instructions. To trim a clip in the timeline, have the playhead, the blue line, over the area of the clip you either want it to start or end. To start the clip from this point, go to Clip at the top of the window and select Set Start Trim Point. To end the clip from this point, go to Clip at the top of the window and select Set End Trim Point. You can also select a clip on the timeline to change its length. To add a fade to a clip, on the timeline, right click on the clip you'd like to fade in or out. Depending on what you want to do, select Fade In or Fade Out. By selecting either of these options in the drop down menu, it will make the clip fade up or fade into black. To add a video transition, in the Collections window, select Video Transitions. Next, select which transition you would like to use. Once you've selected a transition, drag it between the two clips you would like to use on the timeline. You can change the length of the transition by selecting one of the clips affected by the transition and dragging it away or towards the other clip. To add a title, go to Tools and select Titles and Credits. Pick what kind of title you'd like, either on a clip or at the beginning or end. Once you've selected what kind of title you want, add your text. If you keep everything in the top box, it will make everything the same size. However, if you keep some text in the bottom box, it will change the size of the font. You can also change the title animation or the text font and color. Once you have your text the way you want it, click Done Add Title to Movie. To export your timeline, go to File and click Save Movie File. Select My Computer then Next. Name your movie on Line 1. Choose where you'd like to save it on Line 2. Click the Browse button to search for the place on your computer. Then click Next. For YouTube, set your movie settings by clicking Show More Choices, then click Other Settings, and change the drop-down menu to be Video for Broadband 512 kilobits per second. Click Next. The movie will start to save. If you want the movie to start playing, click the box next to Play Movie when I click Finish. Once it's done, click Finish.